Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at manufacturing specification. Now this is quite confusing because it's got the word specification in and it seems to repeat a piece of work that you've already done called brief and specification. But this comes at the very end of all your prototyping when you're ready to start manufacturing your product. So it is different and it also comes with its own set of marks. This whole page is worth marks on its own, so it's worth getting right. So first of all, I've got a worksheet here that's in the middle of the screen that's available at school and it's also attached to the homework. You would need to use this to set out your page and think about what the headings are going to be. So you can see on there, there are four main headings, material selection, fabrication, manufacturing processes, and packaging. Use these to give you an idea of the types of things you need to consider in your specification. So first of all, you need to think about the layout. How are you gonna lay out this A3 sheet of paper? Where's best to put the things that you need to write about? Use the same format that you've used for your folder before and use the same font. Use these headings to break down the page to make it easy to read. Be specific. So if you're talking about material, be very, very specific about the type of material that you're going to use. So don't just say wood, but what sort of wood is it in particular that you want to manufacture your product from? Each of them, you're probably going to need to go and do a little bit more research. So for example, it talks about manufacturing processes. Now, in school, we may have used a specific manufacturing process that's useful for small batch production, for example, 3D printing. We would use this in school, but not necessarily use it to mass produce your product. Instead, what we would do is we would make a mold from your 3D printed product, and we'd use that to cast a material into, whether plastic or metal, as a, a material to be molded. And this is a different process to the one we used in school. So you may need some further help. You may need, need to ask me or your teacher for some more advice on this. Also, you need to think about what production method is best for your product. Is it best to be batch produced or mass produced? Look very carefully at the type of production methods and think which one would suit your product best. You need to talk about this in your manufacturing plan. Think about whether your product is going to be sold to your consumer completely made as a final product, or is it gonna to go to them flat packed so that they can assemble it themselves? This means you can think about how are you going to package your product? If it's a large item, how are you going to be able to transport that safely and accurately? If it's going to be flat packed, what instructions are you going to give to your consumer so they're gonna be able to assemble it? All of these are things that you can put into your manufacturing plan. Again, here are two good examples of a manufacturing specification page. The one on the left shows a good example of a level six. So in this, you can see that they've got a really clear layout for the page. They've used the headings at the top and they've used bullet points, which makes it really easy to see the key features that they're talking about. They've talked about general things. So we're talking about the materials that they're going to use. They've, for example, identified the specific type of plastic that they want to make this product out of. They've also talked quite depth in their specification about how it is useful for the end user. What are they thinking about for that? They've also talked about the uh, cost. So thinking about the cost to the consumer. All of these things have been highlighted quite clearly in this piece. The example on the right hand side gives us more indication of uh, a much higher level. So here we've got wide manufacturing processes discussed, fabrication, how it's going to be assembled. They've looked very carefully at batch production and how that is relevant for their particular product. They've also thought very carefully about the end user and talked in some detail about why this product is specific to their needs. And of course, they've considered packaging. So how are they going to transport this? This example goes in much more depth into those specifics to do with the manufacturing of their product. And this is why this is a higher level 
It's nothing to do with the images. Images on here are just filling up space. You must ask yourself, is the image adding anything to your manufacturing specification or could more writing get you a better mark? Don't just stick in pictures to make it look pretty. It's more important that you cover all the areas around this topic and consider all the issues to get the best marks.